Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CyberCADSolutions.com. Today in this session, I am going to explain how to create a block and how to insert a block. First of all, let us see what is a block. Block is a complex entity which is made up of a group of entities. Why do we have to use blocks in AutoCAD? Generally, say for example, if we get a requirement like this, we have to um, place a group of objects repeatedly in the same drawing. Then, generally we used to create one, cop one group of objects and we will copy them as many times as required. But later, say suppose there is a change in that particular group, then we need to delete all these copied entities and we have to modify the source and then we have to copy again but if you create a block with a particular group and if you place instances of that block even after later if we get any change in the block simply go to simply go to the definition of the block do the changes as needed and say update automatically all the instances of that block will be modified in the drawing so that is the special advantage of block okay now let us see how to create a block now here assume that whatever you are able to see is the elevation of a house and i have drawn a small window kind of thing say for example we have multiple copies of windows in this house like this so i would like to create a block with this window entities and I want to place or I want to insert that block in this drawing and I want to show how to modify the block definition also later on. First of all, let us see how to create a block. The shortcut command to create block is B. Type B at command prompt and press enter. To create a block, we have to give three minimum inputs. That is the first one is name. Let us say I am writing my block name as say window 1 meter by 1 meter that is my block name you can write your own block name similarly we have to give a base point as well as objects which are to be included in the block definition so first of all go to the base point to specify base point you click or this button pick point click or here and specify the base point generally base point some people may pick this outside unknowingly don't do that insertion point almost 100% it would be on the block entities only so i am clicking over here as insertion point then we have to specify the objects so click this button to specify the objects i am selecting these lines and press enter you can see a preview of selected entities okay then i am simply clicking okay so that this will become a block okay so if even after deleting this block we will have the block instance so we have created created a block with name window one by one now how to place that block instance over here for that we have a command called insert the shortcut command for insert is i type i at command prompt and press enter you will get a dialog box like this in which there will be a combo box with all the blocks name block names created in this drawing as of now we have created only one block with whose name is window one by one so select that one again here we have to specify three things first one is insertion point that is where do you want to insert here x y z 0 0 are, are there but we would like to specify the insertion point on the screen so i checked this checkbox similarly scale to what scale you would like to insert this block that is 1 is to 1 is to 1 it is already there just check this out to say that it is on uniform scale similarly if you check this specify on screen it will ask you to specify the scale at the time of insertion similarly rotation what is the rotation angle of the block you want to place i would like to leave this as zero only because i want my block to be inserted with a zero angle and simply click ok now if you observe at the command prompt it is asking specify insertion point and you can see the cursor is 
bringing that block with the insertion point now where do you want to place this block let us say first of all i am clicking over here and move this block to the required place generally blocks will be at the level of lintel so i am moving this i am entering move command move and from here to here again one more move 2 meters towards right side so this block is inserted just now now again if you want to place another block instance you can insert you can use insert insert command or you can make copies of this block also let us make few copies say copy command select this pick over here drag like this i am entering 3 meters again 6 meters again 9 meters enough so there are four different window blocks are provide, uh, inserted over here and let us say later they or uh, the client asked to modify this block uh, with some uh, changes so how to do that so we have till now we have seen how to create a block how to insert a block now we will see how to edit a block definition for that we have a command called be block edit and press enter block edit command shortcut is be type be at command prompt and press enter now you will get a dialog with all the block names which are created in this drawing so select the one which you would like to modify i am selecting window one by one and say okay now this block definition will be opened in a separate window now i am going to change this block definition i am going to make a small offset of 0.1 like this and 0.05 this way and this way remove this trim this 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 and is this trim this two edges okay this looks like a glass window now just simply select close block editor over here close block editor button over here it will ask you do you want to save the changes to the window one by one click save changes to window one by one now if you observe over the screen all the win window block instances are updated automatically so this is the advantage of using blocks in autocad so let us revise one more time the command to create a block is b shortcut command for creating a block is b type b at command prompt and press enter here we need to give three things one is name of the block type something which or you want and specify the base point and objects which are to be included in the block definition then if you want to insert a block then type i i is shortcut for insert command type i at command prompt and press enter you will get a dialog box just select the name from name list which which who which block you want to insert and you have to specify three things insertion point scale rotation angle just check the required options and save okay then you will be given a block along with your cursor you can click wherever you want to insert and if you want to modify the block definition the shortcut command for block for modifying the block definition is be which means block edit be then you will get a dialog box select the block which is to be edited and save okay automatically the block entities will be opened in a separate window do the changes as required and use close block editor button to close this special window then it will ask you if you do any change it will ask you to save if you make any changes say yes or no as required then automatically all the instances of the block which are already inserted in the drawing will be updated automatically hope you understood how to create a block how to insert a block and how to edit a block definition and if you like this video please share my video link cybercadsolutions.com to your friends and if you have any doubts you can email me to cybercatprabhu at, at the rate of gmail.com thanks for watching welcome to the next session